All of us who live in the world of ideas, business school professors, philosophers, and practically everyone we might speak to, uh, need to bring those lofty ideas right down to earth for them to be of any practical use. And this is where, first and foremost, certainly in historical terms among the philosophers, we find Aristotle. And Aristotle delivers this marvellous, uncommon sense. We might call it practical wisdom rather than wisdom that's up in the clouds. Because in asking the question, what's good, Aristotle's contemporaries went on and on and on speculating about metaphysics, about first principles. Aristotle simply said it's obvious. We all know what good is. But the question is not the what, but very much the how. How do we live the good life? And his key, his practical key to living the good life can be summed up in what he described as the middle way. So we all know that it's good to be courageous, for example. But what does that mean in a given context? We can't judge what it means unless we go to what Aristotle called the extremes. Because around any virtue like courage, there's a vice. He called it the vice of excess, which might be recklessness, where we just plunge in where angels fear to tread. Or it might be what he called the vice of deficiency, which in this case would be cowardice. So somewhere between those two extremes of recklessness and cowardice, we need to find the sweet spot the sweet spot of courage. And we can't really understand what the right thing is unless we also understand what the wrong thing is and what might make the wrong thing so attractive and easiest for us to fall into. And so we find the middle way through experimentation. We feel our way, not on our own, but in the context of a community where there's guidance, where there are those who've been there before us who can illuminate or help us to illuminate our own path in particular contexts. Back in the business world, we talk about integrity. What's not to love about integrity? But does that mean that we lie? No. Does that mean that we tell everyone about everything all the time? No. Here too, in a turbulent world, we need to find the middle way. And Aristotle, two and a half thousand years ago, showed us the kind of path that we might carve out for ourselves in our own contexts now.